How long does it take to get over a breakup and what is considered a normal amount of time? These are definitely the questions I asked myself when I was separating from my ex-husband and also there are many others out there who have the same questions. So if that's you right now and you are struggling with a breakup, feel free to continue watching as the lovely Heather Prince will be answering this question. Hello Successful Soul, welcome back. This is Jen Lillian helping online spiritual coaches with their online spiritual coaching business to supercharge their results in 90 days or less to success. Now this particular snippet is taken from the Soul Central Summit that was held on the 10th of June 2022 and Heather Prince is our relationship coach and she talks from experience and also goes into detail how long it takes to usually get over a breakup. So if you're going through a breakup right now, we do feel for you, we do have you back. Feel free to reach out if you do need the extra help and support. But here's Heather Prince and uh, enjoy the video and I will see you in the next one. How long does it take to get over a breakup? Especially someone like me that was with him. He was my whole world. I was with him for 34 years. I adored every part of him. Well, it takes, it takes time now there is a poll that's been done and they say that the average time to heal is three and a half months after a divorce and they say more likely one and a half years but then there's another school of thought which I personally go along with that it's six months to every year that you've been with that person so for me it was a long time a long time of repetitive um, self-awareness, repetitive work on my self-confidence, my, my self-esteem, my self-belief. All of those things came into play. And I've been teaching meditation for oh, about 30 years now. Here I am in the energy studio where everybody came before <laughs> lockdown, but they're all coming back next week, which is lovely. Um, and connecting with the higher energies it was given to me that um the, the journey should relate to a starfish and when you look at a starfish it's got five legs to it and when you've been in a relationship where somebody's told you that um you're never going to amount to anything or or you've gained weight and you're fat and, and they don't fancy you anymore or um, or what are you doing that course for? You're, you're never gonna you're never gonna get anywhere with it. If, if anybody's ever done that, what they're doing is they're cutting off your self confidence. They're cutting off your self esteem. They're cutting off your self respect, your self belief, your self love, and all of those can be regenerated with a starfish. It's clever. You cut off a little bit of that starfish, it regenerates, and that's what spirit was showing me, Heather show them how to become whole again. Now, when you talk to Joe Bloggs, they've got no idea about becoming whole again. But talking to people that have um, opened themselves up to uh, reading The Secret or having um, tarot readings or they're open to, to the world of energy, um, they can understand that you need to become whole again because when we've experienced trauma it's like gouging out a, a lump out of a, a whole melon we need to put that back together again some people might call that soul retrieval there's different names for different things um <clears throat> so you need to become whole before you date again because if you don't what happens is when I've done workshops and I've got people to write down each relationship, the same traits, the same patterns have been repeated, even though that person is a completely different person and they look completely different. But we've got little antennae that goes out and we feel familiar with something um, that we recognize but we don't always, um, we're not always self-aware about it. So we need to raise our vibration um, so that therefore we become aligned to somebody who's aligned with us. And, and the main thing about that is self-love. And everyone thinks, oh, that's all about the ego. No, it isn't. It's about looking in the mirror and looking at yourself and really loving yourself. Because until you do that, how on earth can you expect someone else to love you?
that's that's really really a great point just to end that introduction to you heather there's a lot to there thank you ever so much and thanks for sharing your journey because sometimes this is such a painful um topic to talk about and sometimes people don't like to admit to themselves or you know to whoever that they've actually got a challenge or three <laughs> in their relationship and um, it's great that you guys, you, you described yourself and your ex um, as best friends. And I actually fall into that category myself. I have a very great, healthy relationship with my ex-partner. Uh, well, he is still my husband, but ex-husband. Um, and we are bringing up um, our six-year-old together. But um, we are actually in a minority group. Um, most people do struggle to have that healthy relationship um, with their ex thereafter but as you did mention the point was it does take time and it's definitely a marathon not a sprint and we can help you or yourself Heather can help you get there if you like the idea of having a nice I wouldn't call it relaxing but it's, it's just a nice healthy healthy connection with your ex because I feel like whenever there's a little bit of friction, because there can still be a few challenging points with it, if I can only talk about myself, right? Because we don't know anyone else here. And um, you've shared us about your, uh, your history, Heather, with your ex. But let's say there's something that comes up with um, myself, my ex and my son, um, and the friction starts boiling up. Um, it, it can, I mean, nothing major just happens in the last like, four or five years, really, since we've separated. But um, it can spill over to the other areas. And as an online coach, we've got enough to be dealing with anyway. And we don't want this part of your life getting even more challenging because it's all about the balance, right, Heather? Um, you get one thing working and then it's the other thing like, like your yeah. staff. I, 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 like, I like to look at the, the life will. I like to look at the eight elements of the life will. Um, and obviously since my marriage ended and I've niched down to focus on relationships it's this section over here but you'll see that next to it is career and anybody yeah. watching this who is a coach um it can bleed over yeah. <clears throat> because when you're focused on your career and opposite there is finance and obviously that relates to it um but you can also hear the opposite relationship is your health and that certainly relates to it because we know that when you're stressed, there is an effect on your health. Many thanks for watching this video. If you're a coach, healer, therapist or practitioner and would like to supercharge your online coaching business, then feel free to hit the link below in the description box where you can receive the successful Six Figure Soul Roadmap and Training. It walks you through step by step on how to start, build and grow your online coaching business to success. See you in the next video.